Good morning guys from Bali, Indonesia. In my last video, I shared more the truth about Bali, the negative side, the problems that I see here in Bali. But in today's video, I want to show you the good side. In particular, I want to show you my favorite place in Bali. This is arguably my favorite place in the world because every time I come here, I really unplug recharge i really feel connected to this place to the nature here it's just an amazing place and i want to share it with you in today's video so first i'm gonna give you a quick tour of this house which is amazing and then we get out there and i will show you one of my favorite places in the world let's begin so me and my friend chris are staying in this beautiful house it's like a two-floor house i'm staying downstairs chris is staying upstairs and it's absolutely amazing because we are just surrounded by rice field it's extremely private extremely quiet we are loving it out here so i'm staying down here and chris is staying upstairs let me show you quickly i'm paying 30 dollars per night for one room so it's 30 and 30. you have a lot of uh, space table another little table here is the room king size bed it's very basic very simple but uh, i really love the the energy and the atmosphere here and i really like that you got this huge window overlooking the rice fields and then another big window over here and then the bathroom is very simple here you got the shower and then here you go upstairs to the other room which is pretty much the same so i'm not going inside now but uh, that's his room and you have an even better view because you're a little bit higher and you have this amazing view of the rice fields and also the location of this house it's amazing because we just walk outside here and we are on Jalan Bisma road which is honestly one of my favorite roads here in Ubud probably my favorite street in Ubud because it's super quiet you can just walk it's very relaxed there is no traffic not so many cars and just outside here like 50 meters you have amazing coffee shops restaurants massage parlors and the amazing thing here in Ubud is that so many local people they are artists they are musicians they are painters they are craftsmen they create things they do wood carving many people do that it's a super artistic and super creative place in fact the owner of this house which they live right there in front of their house they have an art gallery actually let's go there and let me show you So this is the art gallery of the owner of the guest house. It has some really, really nice painting inside. Let me bring you now to the center of Ubud, which is where all the tourists go and it can get pretty crazy pretty busy pretty intense because many people in bali visit ubud just for one day they take a one day trip up to ubud and then at the end of the day they come back to their hotel in the south but don't make this mistake because if you come to ubud and you just see the center you're gonna have a wrong impression of ubud and that's what many people do and that's also what i did the first time that i arrived in ubud i went to the center i just visited the main road i went to the ubud market it was very busy very chaotic a lot of people hustling you and wanted to sell you stuff. <laughs> Is that a dick? Guitar. <laughs> And then you think, okay, Ubud is nothing special. But the real beauty, the real spirit, the real soul of Ubud, it's outside the touristic city center. Of course, you need to also enjoy the city center, go to the famous Ubud market, do some shopping there as I did. Bali style. Wow, handsome man. Yeah. Handsome. Walk around the main street, also visit the Ubud palace. But after that, there are better places to enjoy. Ubud city center can be very intense. There are a lot of tourists, a lot of traffic. It's total chaos. But the moment you get out of it, you take some roads that go north, it starts to get really nice. Let me bring you there. So 
So my advice to you if you come to Ubud is to rent a scooter. The prices are very cheap here in Bali and then start to explore. Get out of the city center, start to drive around and you will see amazing scenery, amazing rice field, very nice coffee shop, restaurants and so much more. And that's in my opinion the real way to truly enjoy Ubud. This one right here is one of my favorite part of Ubud. The walk in the middle of the rice fields is just unbelievable. I would consider Ubud a magical place. It's a place that has a very special energy. For me, the first time I arrived, it was in 2016, and I immediately felt this energy and I ended up staying here for eight months. I was looking for answers and for healing at that time, and this was the perfect place because it really, really helped me a lot. And yeah, this place really resonates with people that come here for looking for an answer in their life. Maybe they're transitioning in their life. Maybe something happened and they need some time to reflect sometimes to reconnect to themselves, sometimes to heal, sometimes to contemplate life, sometimes to connect with nature, to find inspiration, to find creativity. This is probably one of the best places in the world to get those answers because it has all the elements, all the right energy, all the right things to really go inwards. And, uh, and yeah, it's a, it's a very special place. I also wrote my first ebook right here in 2016. And here also you find a lot of people like writing books, creating arts, creating music. It's, it's just perfect for those kind of things so yeah if you're looking for something a little bit magical in your life some sort of inspiration really consider Ubud because uh, this is probably the right place for you <laughs> So why Ubud is one of my favorite places in the world, if not my favorite place in the world? Well, first of all, for the energy that this place has. And then, of course, the, the food here is incredible. There are so many restaurants, especially healthy restaurants, vegan, vegetarian. But not only that, there are like so many amazing restaurants that it's even hard to describe. And then cafes. You can find all this little cute cafe with a really nice design, amazing coffee, amazing bakery. You can just sit there contemplate life, watch the rice fields, work on your laptop, read a book, talk with a friend. The cafe scene in Ubud, it's amazing. And then you have massages everywhere, which are also super cheap. They have their own authentic massage, which is called traditional Balinese massage, and it's super recharging, super relaxing. And the massages here are super cheap. They're like 100,000 rupees, which is less than Thailand, less than Vietnam. It's probably one of the cheapest places in the world in terms of massages. And then nature, you probably have some of the most amazing nature in the world. You can really have some incredible sceneries here, waterfalls, rice fields, volcano, and you can really connect to nature here. You can have nice walks. As you can see, I'm alone here in this beautiful area and you can find so many places like this around Ubud. Of course, as I said, you have to avoid the city center, the touristic center. You just need to rent a scooter or a bicycle and get a little bit out there and then you're gonna find places like this. I'll put those places in the description so you can also find them on Google Maps. And if you come here, you can uh, enjoy as well these places. And another thing are prices, man, because Ubud and Bali in general can be very, very cheap, much cheaper than Thailand and other Southeast Asian countries. Of course, you also have 
expensive options, expensive hotel, restaurant, etc. But for the most part, you can find extremely cheap solutions. And then the people, man, the people really make this place extremely special because they're very, very kind. They always smile to you. They're gentle, they're generous, they're very hospitable. From the farmers, when you walk in the rice fields, to the barista at the coffee shop, to the waiter in the restaurants, they're really, really, really sweet and kind people. And they're really talkative, you know, they really like to talk to you, ask you questions. They want to know where you're from, what you do, what's your plan, this and that. And uh, yeah, very special people. All right, guys, I'm going to end this video right here. Let me know in the comments below if you've ever been to Ubud in Bali, if you're maybe planning to come. If you've been here, I would love to hear your experiences, your story, your memories, your opinion as well. In this video, I share what I love about Ubud because there are so many positive things. Probably the only negative thing about Ubud that I still have is the traffic because it still gets very, very intense, especially around the late afternoon, sunset time. It can get really, really, really busy and very, very stressful. But again, if you try to avoid the city center, then you're gonna have a great time in nature. Let me know your comments and your opinions down below. I'll, uh, I'll also put down below all the links that I mentioned of the location and the places, and I will see you in the next video. A big hug from Ubud. Bye-bye.